track down his cable. Start at the other end. Oh, I see. And then he went up.
gentlemen, the President of the United States and Mrs. Reagan. and popular republic of Algeria and the United States of America.
President, this concludes the honors. Thank you. Mr. President, our mutual concerns about Middle East peace, North African stability, and African economic development and political process, or progress, I should say, are among items which I look forward to discussing with you. Through these discussions, we seek understanding and progress. We Americans particularly welcome the return of cordial relations which existed in the early days of your independence. Your visit gives us an opportunity to further strengthen our bilateral ties. Your visit should serve as a catalyst for further friendship building activities between our peoples and governments. The United States is already one of Algeria's major trading partners. We buy hydrocarbons from you and market America rate both our economies. I'm aware, Mr. President, of your particular interest in American agriculture, especially our irrigation methods and farmer technology. Your trip to California after your visit with us in Washington should be most enlightening. And we're dealing with food and fiber and to visit firms which already are working with Algeria. This is even more appropriate, Mr. President, because of the similarity in climate between California and Algeria development projects, and we hope to build upon what has already been accomplished. Your material resources in Algeria are vast, Mr. President, but I'm sure you will agree that the Algerian people are your greatest treasure. We're gratified and will remain open to those who would master the keys to development. In doing so, we seek to build a more prosperous world and to establish with you relations based on goodwill in Damascus in 1860. And we're grateful that you are following in his proud footsteps. I look forward to spending this time with you in our discussions on matters of importance to both of us. And Mr. President, we greet you as a friend. على حفاوة الاستقبال المتميز التي خصصتموه لنا وللوفد الذي رفقنا إن هذه الأرض الطيبة التي وحدت بنا رجال جاءوا من مختلف أرجاء الأرض وبنت بهم أمة عظيمة أن تواجدنا هنا نريد من خلاله أن ننقل من الشعب الجزائري رسالة احترام والصداقة إلى الشعب الأمريكي في وقت مبكر بين, بين بلدينا مباشرة بعد استقلال الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية في مواجهة تحديات عصرنا الحاضر it is only natural that once it had regained its sovereignty, Algeria dedicated itself to restoring a dialogue with your country. I can say that through the years, this dialogue, cultural as well as international issues, that are of common interest. <laughs>
قد عرفت تطورا استفادت منه حقا في أن هناك إمكانيات لتنمية تعاون نشيط بين الجزائر والولايات المتحدة الأمريكية يقوم على احترام مصالح طرفين المثل التي أنشتها الأمم المتحدة والمتمثلة في العمل من أجل السلام والتقدم لكل أمم هذه الأرض Mr. President, my country is أن التنمية والسلام تقوم بينهما علاقات وسيلة فالهدف من وراء شعار الرخاء المتضامن التي نادت به حركة عدم الانحيات طاقته الإبداعية والاتفاق حول الأعمال التي تتطلبها بصورة حيوية فإن While crises accumulate and areas of tension multiply, there is more than ever